Roger, Mike. He called her Fiona. The fuck? Hello, everyone, and welcome back. Today, we're watching some more Outlander, Wrath Season 7, Episode 3. And this one is titled Death Be Not Proud. Mm. So, there was an explosion. The house exploded. If you don't mind, I would just like to see what the fuck happens next. Let's get into it. Oh, Roger and Brianna. Alexander, Ian, Fraser, Mackenzie. Okay. Oh. Fiona? We've been keeping it safe, but we've been dying to know what's inside. Banks said it's been in the vault for 200 years. I'm glad Mandy's doing so well, and I'm so glad you've come back. Mandy's doing well. this obviously it's from uh jamie and claire right letters huh basketball that's so cool my dear daughter as you will see if you ever receive this we are alive. Oh, Peter! Where'd he go? Go to the house! Phil! Oh, he fell. <laughs> That's... Both your mother and I are safe Whoops. and well. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> and we will always have a home as long as we have each other. Mm. There's no point. Where's the cat? Thank you all. Where's the cat? It's not the moment we can do. So much for our victory. Wendigo lit one of your matches. Hmm. Who did your mother? The 18th century's lucky to have survived you. Me? Why are you saying that? Because, Brianna, it was you. Fire hmm. from the victory didn't happen. <laughs> it couldn't happen. There was nothing left to burn. So we actually did it. Save them. We saved them. <laughs> we changed history. Yay. Good thing they survived that one. Oh, that sucks, though. Their beautiful house. Phew! It must be awful to just, like, go through the ruins of your home, your stuff. Hmm, the gold. What was, um... Uh... Yeah, smells of smoke, Sassanite. Are they dead? Everything smells of smoke. Like, Miss Bug... Bug? I did see him again. In Wilmington. Just before we saw your cousins away. It's grown. Soldier. It's a fine young man. William, man. He must be proud. Why? He knows. Where did you get? He was here. I saw you looking at him the same way you were looking at that portrait. That and what I remember <laughs> was that stubborn lad. <laughs> Wasn't he afraid to speak his mind either? He's kind of a brat. I'm going to be my mother. 
and you. He's a flazer, sure enough. Does he can? Ian. We can never know he's my son. I feel like he knows though. Uncle. You need flazer of blood to see it in him. I will never speak of it to us all. So, it looked everywhere for your wee cheating. In the woods, near the river, we hardly found them. I'm sure he'll turn up somewhere. Of course he will. Mournful music. Screw you! I guess you'll be wanting to explain this, Mr. Bug. Mm-hmm. I did not owe you an explanation about anything. Why is he such an old shit? <laughs> There's a mark of the fleur de lis. Oh. It was meant for Charles Stewart, was it not? Oh, uh, some was. Jacobite gold. Did you can how it came to be in your wife's possession? Nope. No idea. The French okay. gold. Yeah. It's a lost Jacobite gold. It's here. In America. I, I only wish to take it back from the Cameron's. I am a man of my word, same as Ygbrian. I swore an oath to my chief, and I kept it till he died. Where's the rest of it? Somewhere you'll never find it. You are free of your oath to me. Take your life from my hand. Take this. Take your wife and go. Do not return. Damn. We've seen things, and yet we look the other way. Miss Bug. This. Okay, I thought she was gonna say we'll out them. This is our time. Careful. Hmm. Keep an eye on those two. Mr. Bug. Bug, 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 come out of there. I'll speak with you. That wasn't him. Oh, shit. Mrs. Bug? I need to hide. Archie. I thought she was... The court. The heart. It's okay, she opened fire on Jamie. I didn't care it was you. It's okay, Ian. I mean, like, rest in peace, I guess, but, like, what does it change that it's her instead of Mr. Bug? A life is a life. Mr. Bug? I trust you wouldn't have turned an old man away from his wife's funeral. Of course not. But you sing. Mistress Fraser. I, uh, yes, Arch. Razia Plena. She has a nice voice. Mr. Bug, it was by my hand that this woman of great worth has died. I did they take her life by malice or, or of a purpose? I thought it was you. And it is a sorrow to me. Uh. I swear by my iron, a life for a life. What the fuck are you doing, Ian? Too easy, lad. And you gave me your hound to kill. No. When you've something worth taking, you'll see me again. That I promise you. Can we kill him? Just saying. I sincerely hope 
I'm not the one that has to do it. But should the question ever arise, would you like to be buried here? Taken back to Scotland? I should be lucky to be buried at all, Sassanach. And much more likely I'll be drowned, burnt, or left to rot on some battlefield. Than a fashion. If you have to dispose of my carcass, leave it out for the crows. No, bear that in mind. I haven't asked what I want done with my body. No. I never will. I cannot think of you, dear Claire. Anything else, but not that. Mm. Keep thinking. Good Lally Brock. You want to go back to Scotland? <sighs> Something I must do. With the war. If he is to go back, it must be now. I think that's a great idea. There is another reason to go. I promise you, would see. I would never face my son. Just the barrel of a gun. Okay. So we're not gonna fight? I love it, but like. I wish we could call them. Hmm. That'd be so fun. I think you'll find your parents, much as you left them. You only come as a greater shock to them. You're not that much taller, am I? <laughs> <laughs> Personally, I prefer Robert Frost. Home is the place where, when you have to go there, they, they have, have to, to take, take you in. in. No wonder you're fond of her uncle. She must be a rare comfort to you. Yeah, she keeps taking me in. <laughs> I'd take you in, Jamie. So, I suppose she must be home. Who wouldn't, am I right? No one on the ridge. So why do you call it the Spaniard's Cave? On account of the current occupancy. <laughs> Lovely. Perfect place for hiding treasure. <sighs> okay. Dear Bree, try to remember to that. Bridge and because go to Scotland. your father would like to keep his word to his sister. It can't be random. Ian home. I wish to tell you of the disposition of some property that was once held in trust by the Camerons for an Italian gentleman. It is unwise to carry all of it with us. And therefore I left it in a place of safety. Jem knows the place. Would he remember? Wasn't he like but He should at some time have to read of this property. Tell him the Spaniard guards it. He will know what it means. Will he? Jem likely doesn't know anything about the gold, just about this Spaniard, whoever that might be. They're Is connecting the dots like way too fast for mm -hmm. me. No. They're just like, oh, yeah, gold. We won't ask him. Jacobite gold. No. Yes. The, the letter says if you should have need. Jamie, come in here. There's no need. There's Spaniards. 
whoever he was can keep his jack a bit cold. Thank you. The last one I gave you was lost in the fryer. I need one for the journey. Fresh in the hand on my sail. Fits my hand. You must always blood a blade so it can just purpose. Blood of my blood. Brock, right? Oh boy. This morning he grabbed hold of my skirts and pulled himself to stand in. He's a brawly lad, just like his parents. I'm sure he'd be thrilled to have him <laughs> the next few months. Let's get going, Sassanak. The Union's waiting for the horses. We're going to Scotland. Privacy. Maybe if the Baron's a girl, I'll name her Claire. Keep me from missing you too much. Claire's a beautiful name. I love that name. Afternoon. We will just, um, apologies, we'll be on our way. Are you interested? Excuse me? Bloody wind. Must have knocked it down. To, to sell? That'd be cool. that well i had that thought i was just like are they just not doing anything with that building it's a like it's historical almost you know it's been there for centuries stop, wait. What is this stop stop is he okay <laughs> And this will see by his milk. And what was what by the fire? Go now. Go home. Just a cat. I know. If I had to say goodbye to my cats, I would kill myself. <laughs> I never thought I'd see Bonnie Scotland again. Just where we're bound. Just so. I. We will. Mm. You will always be enough. So this episode was fairly more relaxed than the last one. Last one was just like, boom, 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 boom. Just kept going. This one, I feel like it's kind of a transition episode, right? We saw the aftermath of, you know, what happened. And we saw that they were able to get out except for the, you know, the people that were with Wendigo. And also like he... He wasn't gonna just like light it. He fell asleep, got knocked out by the ether, which, sorry, buddy. So yeah, there was that. And then there was this box full of letters. And I love that. I really do. And I hope that we keep going back and forth with the letters, um, keeping up with, uh, Brianna and Roger was very fun this episode. It was very like, um, it felt good, you know, just them reading the letters, uh, kind of feeling like, like they still have uh, like a bond with uh, Claire and Jamie and the whole thing with the gold, like they know they can have gold if they need, uh, if they ever need it. Also, they might buy the castle, the Lallybrock castle. So, you know, they're all 
back to like Scotland, right? Brianna and Roger are also in Scotland right now. Well, they were ever since the start of the episode, but I'm just saying, uh, and we're going back. We're going to see Jenny, Ian. That'll be very fun because we haven't been in Scotland for a while. And uh, I'm really excited. I really am. So, you know, there was a lot of goodbyes. Lizzie. Um, I'm so happy that Lizzie will be the one uh, looking after the people over there and just like taking over for uh, Claire as much as she can, you know, try to heal people uh, with her little kid and then she's waiting another one and she has her two husbands. <laughs> They're an untraditional family, but you know, it just works for them. So what the hell? But yeah, definitely. I feel like this was kind of a transition saying goodbye to America are we gonna come back for the war or are we are we just like not touching that I don't know we might not stay long in Scotland say goodbye to add so that got me but I think it was more than that you know it's just like her life on the ridge um you know, after she found the post and that, I'm pretty sure it goes back to season four. To us, it's season four, but to them, it's like, you know, years that they've spent on the ridge and seeing them going through the ruins of their home was very sad. But, you know, at least, like I said, they have each other and I'm sure that they'd rather have each other than have a big house because, like, that's material. So, yeah, they can always rebuild and we can count on them to rebuild an amazing house. But first, they have to go back to Scotland. And I'm so excited to see what they do over there. I'm so excited to see Jenny, the new actress that they cast. Because I'm pretty sure you guys mentioned that the actress was not available to come back. Um, and also, you know, we all grew up. Like, it would have been 20 years. Right? Because we didn't see her when Claire came back in season three like she was already gone and we haven't seen her since so it would be realistic for her to you know be a, like we could have a different actress and we could still believe that it's her I'm just very curious to see um how she plays it because you know we know Jenny so we kind of expect some kind of like personality traits and uh Excited to see what this new actress does with the role. Also excited to see Ian and to uh, have them reunited with their son. That'll be amazing. So yeah, this one was pretty chill, pretty relaxed. So I'm excited for the next one because uh, we're going to be in Scotland. And uh, we left Scotland. That's where it all started. So that'll be exciting. That was season seven, episode three, Death be not proud so i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you for the next one thank you so much for watching